So this is the next video here showing progression of what I've been doing. So this is the garden gate again. Uh, this is the top part right here. This is the side that goes up against the gate and that side goes up against the wall. I've got a couple inserts here. Um, as you can see we've got, uh, let's see how I can do this, we've got one hummingbird there with a flower. Uh, we've got the same hummingbird here with the flower. I just see that I just made a big mistake. I was going to invert these so that each one of them was facing each other, but you know, that's just the way life is sometimes. I've got uh, the insert up there on the top where right now I'm envisioning a crescent moon with a star. This part's going to be a uh, circle life sun. Then I've got uh, two cats. One's going to be about where the uh, ground wire is for the welder. Another cat's going to be right about in here. Another support bar along here, and then I'm going to have a whole row of a whole row of quails all in through here. And last night I probably went up until maybe about three o'clock in the morning. I finished uh, getting all those digitized and cleaned, and hopefully all scaled out. And that's what I'm going to be burning today on the plasma cutter, got the computer up and running, and got the plasma cutter. And uh, like I said, this is in concurrent with another project I've got going on in the back. You see uh, uh, three-dimensional, and uh, this is going to be part of uh, the Carolyn Memorial video. Thank you. So, the trials and tribulations of cutting metal and making it too darn tight. As you can see, I've got the uh, Circle Life uh, Sun here that I was cutting. And that's an ideal situation what it was supposed to be. Now, when I cut it out, in actuality, I've got an issue right here where I came in too close to this hummingbird. So the spark stops. So I had to back up the uh, plasma cutter arm and restart it. And then guess what? I do the same darn thing right there. So uh, I've got the sun. And believe it or not, I had another good two inches there. So I could have moved the table on up or moved the arm on, on, on up and I wouldn't have had any of this. So instead of wasting basically a two foot wide, uh, two foot by two foot wide piece of metal, um, what I have done now is to the plasma cutter, I have hooked up my manual arm, so freehand it, so I'm going to cut it out, get it off the table, and then figure out how I'm going to repair it, which is probably take a piece of scrap metal, weld it on in to fill, finish off the sun rays, as you can see right there. And, uh, you know, those are the things that, uh, you know, any people or any individual that is uh, dealing with uh, material, measuring it out, uh, there's an old saying that was in a old Western book that was measure twice and cut once. Well, I measured twice and uh, just didn't quite see the error in my ways there. So, and that is the way of it is. And so I'm going to be cutting this off off of the video, so you won't hear my very choice uh, four-letter cuss words here. Thank you. So after cutting it out uh, with the hand torch right there, as you can see, this is where the sun comes in. The two errors that I had in my way is right there. 
and it really looks like I can be able to just weld in a piece right in here to attach this ray of this uh, uh, this this ray here into this corner piece that works really good the other area right there I could just cut that piece right on out and you'll never know the difference might even use that little scrap piece of metal right there to put right in there so I don't waste any more metal but other than that it looked like uh, for a big mistake it worked out really darn good so give you a nice idea maybe so that's what the top half looks like and now I noticed from uh, what I said in previous video I was in error on that so we've got the hummingbird facing into the sun with the flower on that side uh, we've got the well my mask is in the way but we've got the hummingbird facing into the sun with the flower we've got the sun right there and that top little um, square piece up there it's about seven and a half by seven and a half inches uh, that's going to be a crescent moon with the morning star so that looks pretty good so now what I'm going to do is in this piece where the ground wire is here I'm going to have uh, one cat kind of leaning up towards the sun I'll have the other one and burn that and then I'm going to have a center pole right about right here coming down and then I'm going to have a row of um, quail right in here so the next thing I'm going to burn is the uh, two cats and we'll get those done and that's the way it's still gathering up to be